This is 2010 Champions League semi-final first leg uh, at the San Siro, Inter uh, Barcelona. And we played with Julius Cesar in goal. We played with the back four, Maicon, Lucio, uh, Samuel and Zanetti. And then we had, during the game, um, a, a different positioning in relation to the um, to the movement of Barcelona players and to the the um, our analyze of our difficulties and after also analyzing our possibilities of um, of hurting uh, the opponents is a two leg is a two leg the first leg at home and obviously we know that um, the second leg in Barcelona would be even a more difficult match for us to play. Um, but basically, this was uh, Mota and Cambiasso and Schneider, um, Eto and, and Pandev and Diego Milito. And um, in some moments of, uh, of the game, we bring uh, Pandev more to the inside and Eto more close to Diego and being most occupying the central zone with almost with almost a diamond, but giving it all the chance to try to be more close to to Diego. But this was the basic, the basic situation. Barcelona, at that time, uh, even still today, uh, even before that, uh, the back four, and then uh, Busquets, uh, Xavi, Keita, Iniesta was not starting the uh, starting the game, and then uh, Ibrahimovic was the striker. Um, this was Pedro, and this is the guy I, I forget the name. Some some player that they had there, ah, Messi. This this was the guy, and was um, was with him that we started by analyzing and trying to predict the game and to trying to anticipate the um, and trying to anticipate the problems. At that time, they had. Ibra as a nine and fixing uh, the centre backs, and Messi was playing from the right, but obviously, obviously with the freedom to go to many different, to many different areas. Um, Dani Alves was the player to to go forwards uh, all the time and to try to create this situation, this situation here. Uh, our decision basically was what we are going to do when this situation happened, of Messi going in between the lines and always going forward. Are we going to get uh, Zanetti, on, uh, Zanetti on Messi, but then he will be dragged out of position and then Alves will be all the time in here. And then Pandev or E2, they are going to end playing almost as, as left back. What, how are we going to to resolve this situation, and the situation for us was was very very clear, which was he cannot play alone when he come in between the lines. So this player here must be a player totally in control of this area here, always in communication with the left back, and there is a moment where he becomes yours and I stay in the zone. But if in a certain moment you were attracted by other positions and Messi goes into these positions in between the lines, you have to decide to go. But then if you decide to go, you have to defend Alves. So there was a combination of, of ideas, but basically everything was around not let Messi uh, play. Um, I remember after the game, um, the press was was telling about using a word. Um, in Italy, they were using the word "gabbia," that sh that I think the real translation is about, um, you know, like a like a jail, like a jail to uh, to Messi, because in the end we didn't play man to man, but. Zanetti, Mota, Cambiasso, uh, everybody was 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 responsible for any position that Messi could could go 
even if Messi sometimes was trying to go more to this side here, he would always go and then Schneider was going to close. So our defensive approach was based on this positional problem and probably the only positional problem that we had. A part of that, we just need to be, to be really uh, compact and don't give them don't give them too much uh, too much space. They are going to have the ball uh, more than than us, much more than us, obviously, because many many times they were moving the ball without hurting, and we must be mentally strong to cope with uh, with that. Let them have the ball, but not creating uh, many chances for us. The second part of the plan was exactly how to hurt them, how to hurt them, because it's a first leg at home. We need to win the match, we need to score goals. We knew that the places where they lose the ball, they were very, very strong by trying to press and push it up and close every possible space. But then we knew that also because that was not the kind of challenge that they had to face week in, week out in the Spanish league, um, they were not so good coping with the spaces and we had very fast people we had very fast people attacking the spaces and we had people with the right mentality and the right coaching of arriving into these positions so we were fundamentally going from a defensive low block but going very very strong with three four five players into attacking positions in the in the transition and um and it worked. I think uh, I think it worked, and it's quite hard to say uh, when we had 30% of of ball possession and the opposition had 70. But I think we were more close, more close. We had more chance, not not chances, chances, but opportunities that we can read. We had more after the 3-1. We had more chances to score the fourth than than to be really really in um, in trouble we were we were totally in in control the second goal is exactly what i was saying before barcelona very strong and very well educated to the moment they lose the ball to try to press and to try to kill immediately the opposition counter attack because this is the area where they want to play all the time and we were educated to attack the spaces behind them so in this situation here, we had always lots of players ready to attack the space behind both fullbacks. Which player should attack these spaces? Anyone. In this case, the player that attacked the space was Milito. And then when the ball reached Milito in this area here, is a question of who is going to arrive. Us or them and we were very adapted and very coached and also with the right mentality and the right effort and the right ambition to make people arrive in here so when the ball gets into a player here in this case was Milito now the point is looking at this how many whites how many oranges are going to get into the scoring uh, position and I, I know that this is the guy that is going to arrive, which is, which is Maicon, is going to arrive in here. But we have also, to give sequence of this, I think we have also um, a Pandev and, and maybe Schneider also coming. So we, we, after that ball to Milito, we managed to put two or three players more, was Schneider and Eto or Schneider and, 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 and Pandev arriving, arriving also here, plus the incredible run of, of Maicon. How many of them they were arriving? It was more difficult for them. I think uh, Keita Busquets, they couldn't cope with this, with this run. I think uh, uh, Maxwell and Messi or Pedro in this position, they never thought that Maicon was going to arrive. So the second and the third goal, they had this similarity of hers hurting them in the attacking uh, uh, transition.